Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Tuesday, July 14th. And you can see last evening, pretty nice across the Breckenridge area. The day started off with quite a bit of rain and thunderstorms across southwest lower Michigan and western Michigan. But last night, you can see we even had a uh, cat out here admiring the beautiful sunset. And as we uh, put the time lapse into motion, you're going to see... Uh, uh, the night becomes cloudy with thunderstorms arriving after midnight, and it dumped quite a bit of rain across much of the uh, central uh, part of the state back, especially into uh, western and southwest lower Michigan, where this morning there were some flood uh, uh, statements out there. And you can see, uh, again, quite a bit of lightning last night, and that's something we haven't seen too much of. But we got a pretty uh, a decent couple of get days coming up for Wednesday and Thursday after today's uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms. We'll see lots of sunshine, cool temperatures tomorrow, only in the low to mid 70s across much of the area. And it'll be a little bit warmer with lots of sun as we uh, start today on Thursday. Then uh, more showers and thunderstorms are expected Thursday night right into uh, early next week with the exception of Saturday. Saturday looks like a very nice day right now with lots of sunshine, but it's going to be warm to hot. And we could see our first 90 degree uh, temperature either uh, Saturday or Sunday, depending on clouds or precipitation that may or may not uh, develop across the area. You can see currently temperatures in the upper 60s to around 70, so a pretty warm start to the day. And you can see precipitation amounts from over the last 24 hours across the area. And if we take a look at the webcam from Blissfield this morning, plenty of sunshine to greet southeast lower Michigan. Again, uh, there'll be some scattered storms today, but overall it should be a drier day today than it was yesterday across many areas. And you can see on radar the showers and thunderstorms pivoting out of the area for the most part, but then uh, we got some wraparound. Combine that with the warming of the surface, I think we'll see instability showers and scattered thunderstorms across the area today before conditions improve uh, for tonight into at least Thursday afternoon. Looks like Thursday night would be our next chance of thunderstorms. You can see across the area some of the thunderstorms that were in Huron County and off into Lake Huron. Uh, if we take a look at the MAC Lightning Tech uh, Detection Network, uh, a lot of them uh, was just here about 15, 20 minutes ago dissipated. You can see occasional uh, lightning strike across the area. But it was a pretty busy night last night. Uh, hopefully I can retrieve the animation and uh, perhaps put that on one of the forecasts uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day. And you can see for later today, low pressure system that will be moving off to the east. It will take all that heavy rain, severe storms off to the east. A cold front will be dropping down out of Canada, and again, that's going to bring us lower humidity and dew points for tomorrow, and with temperatures in the 70s, that's going to be a very pleasant day before the uh, warmer temperatures begin to arrive on Thursday, and especially over the weekend when we could get darn right hot and humid. If we take a look at the uh, forecast map, our next weather maker on Thursday will be coming out of the southwest with warm uh, air moving to the north, and we're going to expect a lot of rain and thunderstorms to uh, break out off to the north of that warm front. And uh, again, we're going to have to watch for the potential for some heavy rain across the area uh, from time to time, right on through the weekend er, into early next week. And you can see the WPC 70 precipitation now look, uh, shows the axis of heaviest rains around that big heat dome. With all that dry air in Texas now the last couple of weeks, that's allowing for the heat to expand north. And again, that's going to take that precipitation around the Ring of Fire into the Great Lakes. But it's also going to bring warmer temperatures, so we should... Uh, uh, make some good headway on the growing degree days, especially compared to the last couple of years when we were going through a little bit of cold stretch, especially last year. If you take a look at the growing degree days, you can see Blissfield is uh, uh, not doing too bad. Uh, certainly we'd like to be up uh, certainly above the last year's totals by quite a bit, but uh, we are making some progress and we should continue over the next couple of weeks. Breckenridge, uh, ahead of the three cold years that we uh, look at for uh, serious problems, but uh, we should be gaining ground again on those numbers as well. And the same with Brown uh, City especially. They're doing quite well because of the uh, much earlier planting date than usual. And of course, over in the Thumb area, uh, May has a tendency to not produce a lot of growing degree day numbers anyways, as well the first part of June. And if we look at the uh, soil uh, moisture conditions here in Breckenridge before the rain, we are very, very dry over the last 10 days. In fact, bone dry at the two inch level. And then you can see what nine tenths of an inch of rain will do. It gets us right down almost saturated again at the two inch level. Still plenty of moisture down there at the uh, eight and 16 inch levels, however. And if we take a look at the uh, six to 10 day outlook, you can see warmer than conditions than normal across the eastern United States. 
And we got a rare trough out west. That's the area that's been hot. And of course, where it's been very wet, drier conditions expanding. We're in the normal uh, zone for the 6 to 10 and for the 8 to 14 day as dry continu conditions still continue around Texas up into the Tennessee Valley. And that's uh, good news for those areas. They need some dried out weather. Temperatures near to slightly above normal as well. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day. And 73 is to all.